Hello again. And I just wanted to go over a couple of the steps that we've already been through. We went through our inspection period with uh, completing our binzer and asking the seller to uh, get certain repairs done. Uh, we reviewed our seller property disclosure statement and the clue statement from the seller. Also, hopefully you have obtained a homeowner's insurance quote or um, uh, at least started the process for that. A couple other things uh, are hopefully you had uh, reviewed your title commitment, your CCNRs, and an HOA documents if that's applicable to your property. So now we are at the appraisal step. Now basically since you're getting a loan that's why we need to have the appraisal done. The appraisal is going to verify uh, the value of the home uh, to the lender because they have to confirm that you are paying the correct amount of money for the home to be able to lend money on the home. So if for some reason the property does not appraise, we do have five days to let the seller know that it didn't appraise. Uh, they may ask for a copy of the appraisal to, for verification. And then we can um, choose to negotiate if the seller isn't willing to automatically reduce the price. So in negotiations, different things can happen. Um, maybe adjustments on closing costs or different uh, other terms may uh, apply for negotiation to see if we can get the seller to work with us and continue the process. If for some reason we can't come to an agreement with the seller uh, within the five days, then you do have the opportunity to um, cancel the contract, get your earnest money back, and we will find you another home. Um, so again, basically the appraisal is to verify the value on the property and we do need to have that done and the lender will get that ordered and that is our next step.